My husband said something weird to my sister. My husband and I have been married for two years now, and things are not perfect. We're both type A personalities with six-figure jobs and very big egos. We both really like to win, and when we disagree, it can be very difficult to resolve. We are trying to be better, and we do love each other deeply. Neither one of us wants a divorce, and we want things to work. We get along with each other like nobody else does. My husband and sister are very close. When she found out we were getting married, she was overjoyed. They text each other frequently and are always very happy to see each other. We recently took a family trip to a beach house. My siblings were there, as were their spouses, my parents, my nieces and nephews, and me and my husband. I was tired, so after dinner, I decided to lay down. I woke up. It was late, and my husband wasn't in bed. I walked out of the room and saw my sister and husband on the couch. She had her feet in his lap, and they were talking softly. I know I shouldn't have, but I hung back to see if I could hear anything. My sister asked a question that I couldn't really hear but seemed to be struggling to phrase. My husband said, Yes, the answer is yes. And she replied, No, the answer is no. I went back to our room at that point, and I've been reeling ever since. I'm worried about what they were saying, but I'm scared to say I was eavesdropping. I never saw them that close before, and it seemed like crossing a line. Do I tell him not to talk to her anymore? Do I ask her what was said? I feel like no matter what I do, I look crazy. It was not scat though it seems awfully like scat. Relevant comments from OOP. Zabil commented, Do I think about you romantically? Yes. Can we act on it? No. I'm sorry, but this would be the first place I went in my head. OP responds, Mine too. I don't know how I feel. This was a bombshell. I am still processing everything that's happened. I want to fix things with Derek. I don't want to make Ashley feel worse. I just want things to work. Update. It's been about a week since I posted. I walked in on my husband and sister in a very intimate position, whispering to each other, and I heard half of a conversation. My husband said, the answer was yes, and the answer was no. Family dynamics. I have three siblings, Mark, Lucy, and Ashley. Mark is married with two daughters and a son. Lucy is married with one son. I am married with no children, and Ashley is single with no children. In terms of relationships, I am closest to Mark, and Ashley is closest to Lucy. I talked to Mark about what I'd seen, and he got very angry. He told me that I needed to say something to my husband, Derek, or he would. I decided to take a chance and called up Lucy. I explained what I had seen, and she was very quiet. She told me she knew what was going on, and it's not what I think, but that I should talk to Derek and Ashley. When Derek got home from work, I told him we needed to talk, and I told him I had overheard them talking the other night. He nodded, but didn't say anything. I told him that I needed him to be honest about the relationship between him and Ashley. Ashley and Derek both suffer from depression. There are days I come home and find Derek lying expressionless on the couch. This was odd to me at first, and I tried to motivate him, but realized that when he has a bad day like that, I just need to accept that he's not going to get off the couch or do anything until it's time to go to bed. I will put a blanket on him, make him tea, sit with him, and put something lighthearted on the TV, and he's usually better the next day. Ashley is constantly overwhelmed, feels like she's letting everyone down, and has very bad depression spells. The first Christmas I was seeing Derek, she had one, and she was on the verge of tears all morning. Her mood improved towards the middle of the day, and that's when she and Derek became good friends. She later told me that Derek talked her through things and helped her feel strong enough to get through the day. It was actually one of the things that made me fall in love with him, that he looked after my family and stepped up to help Ashley. Derek explained that they had become close over the years and had really been able to lean on each other when depression struck. After I went to lay down, they hung out with Mark, Lucy, and their spouses, having a few drinks together. When everyone decided to head to bed, 
Ashley could not find one of her AirPods, so she and Derek were crawling around on the kitchen floor, looking under the cabinets, the table, and the chairs to find it. They were both drunk in close quarters and got very giggly. They eventually found it and sat down on the couch to talk. He claims she put her feet in his lap to be playful, and they both started laughing. He admitted that he had talked to her about the fact that we hadn't been intimate in six months, and how, months, how he felt like I shut him out when he needed affection. She talked about how he was the only person that she ever felt safe and comfortable with in her life. She never got the question out because he anticipated it. He said she said something along the lines of, When we're together, do you... Is there a feeling, like, do you feel, which is when he told her, the answer was yes, and then told her, the answer was no, before she could say anything else. He told her that he loved me and wanted to work through our issues. He said that he would always love her, but it would always be as a sibling. He said that they spoke the next day when they were sober and agreed that they needed to set boundaries and not let themselves get that close to each other. He showed me his phone and said that he and Ashley hadn't texted since that day. He told me that he only wanted to be her friend, but recognized that they were both very near lines that should not and could not be crossed, and that they needed to cool off and redefine their friendship. He swears that's all that happened. I want to believe him, because the portion I overheard lines up with what he told me happened, and I did not tell him what I overheard. I called Lucy back, and she confirmed that this is what she heard from Ashley. When I spoke to Ashley, she cried a lot and kept apologizing. She said she knows she crossed a line and swears on her life she would never try to take my husband from me. She promised that she wouldn't ever cross that line again and told me she loved me a million times. I don't really know what to do now. Derek and I are talking about our intimacy issues, in addition to everything else, and trying to be more open about our feelings. We're going to be bringing this up in therapy and trying to figure out a way to deal with things. This really was a bombshell, and while it's not as bad as I thought it could be, I'm really not happy with how it turned out. Relevant comment from OOP. I don't know how I feel. This was a bombshell. I am still processing everything that's happened. I want to fix things with Derek. I don't want to make Ashley feel worse. I just want things to work. On intimacy problems, we both work late and we're exhausted when we get into bed. I shower at night. He showers in the morning. One of us always feels gross at any given time. I honestly hadn't realized that it had been six months. I guess he was more aware than I was. It is an issue, and one that I want to fix, especially because it's affecting him so deeply. We're busy with work. He's initiated it a few times and I've declined. I've been on my period, or too tired, or I just showered, or I feel sweaty and gross. We have no children. Our schedules don't lend themselves to it at the moment, and it's easy to slip my mind. I'm going to be more aware going forward. Thank you for watching the video.